Up next, to know about the latest situation from the World Water Forum, we now have Sesco Satrio standing by in Bali. So, Sesco, go ahead with your report, please. Hi, thank you, Uli. Uh, you're now watching the 10th World Water Forum segment. As we know that Indonesia is uh, the first South Asian, South Southeast Asian country that hosts uh, this kind of event, this international and prestigious event. And uh, ahead of the 10th World Water Forum, Opening in Bali this Saturday, the Indonesian military and national police work together to prepare tight security measures. Coordinating Minister for Maritime Affairs and Investment Luhut Bin Sarpanjaitan, together with then e Commander General Agus Subianto and National Police Chief General Listio Sigit Prabowo, led the implementation of the tactical floor game to secure the 10th World Water Forum VVIP guest this morning. According to Luhut, the preparation for the 10th World Water Forum, which will take place in Bali from May 18th to 25th, 2024, has gone well. Luhut hopes that the implementation of the World Water Forum with the number of participants recorded at more than 30,000 from 148 countries can run well. And in this 10th World Water Forum, the delegates not only gonna be uh, discuss discussing about the water issue all around the world along the event but there's also a uh, side events that will be held in this 10th world water forum and one of them is by uh, planting the mangrove in tahura and here's the report from shafira jr tahura ngurah rai will be one of the places that the delegates of the World Water Forum will be visiting and now I'm here at Tahura Ngurah Rai you can see behind me there are a lot of big mangroves planted here it's so unique and this is one of the characteristics of Bali because Tahura is the only mangrove forest in Bali province and this is more about Tahura Tahura Ngurah Rai is the only Grand Forest Park in Bali province. This mangrove area is in a brackish forest type area which is always flooded with brackish water and is influenced by tides. In total, Tahura Ngurah Rai has an area of 1,373.5 hectares. This area stretches across two second level areas, namely Denpasar City and Badung Regency. The Ministry of Public Works and Public Housing, or PUPR, has completed the arrangement of the Ngurah Rai Grand Forest Park, or Tahura Mangrove Area, to welcome delegates to the 10th World Water Forum, which will be held in Bali on May 18th to 25th. The delegates are scheduled to plant mangroves. PUPR Minister Basuki Hadi Mulyono said that his party was improving regional infrastructure, including through massive reforestation. In Tahura Ngurah Rai, the Ministry of PUPR built a mangrove nursery and nursery facility consisting of three buildings. Each building is a production house area for planting seeds, a germination house area for developing seeds, until they become shoots and an open growth area for mangroves with 30 to 50 centimeters high. The Tahura Ngurah Rai structuring project was inaugurated by President Joko Widodo at the same time as the inauguration of the Danukerti Tamblang Dam in Buleleng Regency in early February 2023. The work was carried out jointly in parallel by the PUPR Ministry through the Bali Regional Settlement Infrastructure Center. Director General of Human Settlements, the National Road Implementation Center, East Java Bali Director General of Highways, 
and Bali Panida River Basin Center, Director General of Water Resources. The World Water Forum this time has a big theme, Water for Shared Prosperity, with sub-themes in the form of Water Security and Prosperity, Water for Human Span Nature, Disaster Risk Reduction and Management, Governance, Water Cooperation and Diplomacy, Sustainable Water Financing, and Knowledge and Innovation. Wow, there are so much more about Tahura that the delegates of the 10th World Water Forum will be visiting. I'm Safira Junia reporting from Tahura with camera person Iqbal Wahyu for TBRI World. And a water crisis is a part of a bigger uh, issue in our environment. By tackling water crisis, we can reduce the negative impact to our surroundings and to maintain nature's equilibrium. And there are so many reasons that the world should unite to tackle this water crisis. Here are the full report. According to United Nations, a global water crisis will happen long before 2050 unless we take action now. The United Nations emphasized that different regions face varied water challenges, including scarcity and flooding, exacerbated by climate change. Collaboration among governments, industries and NGOs is essential to tackle these complex issues. Meanwhile, World Green Building Council found the looming global water crisis, projecting a 40% gap between supply and demand by 2030, with the built environment contributing around 15% to fresh water use. With the nearly half of the global population predicted to lack access to clean water. This crisis is deemed as urgent as addressing greenhouse gas emissions and combating climate change. Based on these facts, there is an urgent need for global unity in addressing the escalating water crisis. It highlights how water scarcity, climate change and pollution affect societies worldwide, underscoring the necessity for collaborative efforts. So why should the world unite to solve the global water problem? Water is a fundamental life source for humans and all sentient beings in this planet. The solution to water crisis is not only for practical needs, but also moral obligation. Every human right has the right to access clean and safe water for daily use, such as drinking, washing and bathing. As a global citizen, we have the moral duty to ensure that the people worldwide get this right. One of the main reasons why the world should unite is because water does not recognize geographical border. Although some countries may be more affected than the others, water crisis is a global issue that impacts people worldwide. As a national organizing committee, it is a great honor and pleasure to me. For example, regions that suffer from water scarcity can face socio-political conflict, while floods in other countries can cause economic losses. Therefore, all countries should take part in the collaborative effort to solve water crisis. The solution to water crisis requires holistic approach that involves various stakeholders, including the government, industry, non-government organizations and civil society. 
It is similar to climate change and environmental degradation that need complex and integrated solutions. Without inter-organization and international corporations, it is difficult to achieve significant changes in water resource management. Moreover, the water crisis also demands innovation and investment on technology and infrastructure. The development of new solutions to tackle water scarcity and the old water distribution system repairment require extensive resource and knowledge. By joining forces, countries can share resources, researchers and technology to increase access to clean water and use water efficiently. Last but not least, water crisis is part of a bigger challenge in environment sustainability and conservation. By tackling water crisis, we can reduce the negative impact to ecosystem and maintain nature equilibrium. Water is important for humans and other sentient beings on Earth. Therefore, the world should unite in collective effort to protect and manage water resources sustainably. Through strong global cooperation, we can create better and more sustainable future for the next generation. The Tourism and Creative Economy Ministry has called for tourism industry players in Bali to be more proactive in maintaining the quality of tourism sector as the island is hosting the 10th World Water Forum. Tourism and Creative Economy Minister San Diego Salahuddin Uno said in Bali on Thursday, a discussion is good for the government and stakeholders in Bali to find solutions for problems currently faced by the tourism sector. San Diego added the ministry has received reports of incident acts as well as crimes committed by foreign tourists in Bali, which angered local people as they heard social norms and traditions in the province. For instance, a viral news of an alleged erotic ritual held by a group of foreign tourists was deemed tarnishing the image of Bali and violating social norms. There have also been reports on foreign tourists with bad behaviors, crimes and visa violations. Sandiaga said such issues will damage the quality of tourism in Bali if there is no real solutions taken by authorities and industry players. He emphasized that tourism in Bali and Indonesia should be a benchmark for quality and sustainable tourism in the world. The Ministry previously published a guidance for tourism players to handle communication crisis properly when there are problems that may affect their businesses. San Diego reiterated Indonesia's tourism industry needs an effective communication governance to maintain its good reputation and image. Indonesia is the first Southeast Asian country to host the World Water Forum. The international forum becomes a platform for 172 countries in the world to accelerate efforts to achieve Sustainable Development Goals or SDGs, particularly on the universal access to clean water and sanitation. So, here are the lists of topics to be discussed in the 10th World Water Forum in Bali. Water is critical resource for all life on Earth, both for humans and nature. We depend on healthy, functioning ecosystems for our water security. They provide us with a plethora of goods, services and well-being. 
The degradation of destructions of freshwater ecosystems inevitably leads to acute problems affecting not only aquatic biodiversity but also our livelihoods and health. World Water Forum 2024 is a global gathering which focuses on water issues including water resources management, sustainability and access to clean water. From the 18th to 25th of May in Bali, various stakeholders will gather to strengthen global cooperation in tackling water challenges and find common solutions for a sustainable future. Taking the theme of Water for Shared Prosperity, the 10th World Water Forum will host 60 organizations and emphasize on the importance of fair access to clean water. Topics to be addressed during the 10th World Water Forum and which call for increased political attention as we move closer to 2030 to achieve SDG as well as SDGs 2, 14 and 15 are the following. 1. Water Quality Improvement Through this, the forum will discuss on reduction and remediation of biological, chemical, plastic and other types of water solution, addressing point and diffuse sources of pollution, etc. for the reduction of environmental pollution and related health issues including viral epidemics, cholera and malaria. 2. Conservation and Restoration of Fresh Water Ecosystems and Biodiversity These topics will explore the nature-based solutions, protections and restoration of aquatic biodiversity and ecosystems, protection and restoration of aquatic biodiversity and ecosystems including rivers, lakes and wetlands, respect the right of rivers to survive in nature, develop river ethics, protect rivers' healthy life and achieve a harmonious coexistence between human and river. 3. Better access to safe drinking water for all. Guaranteed water rights, inclusivity in accessing water for all genders, children, and more vulnerable groups, water services management, and many more, including in fragile context and humanitarian settings. Four, access to water sanitation and hygiene wash for all as a key human right including wastewater and solid waste treatment infrastructure development and hygiene services in urban or smaller human dwellings and off-grid solutions for more remote rural populations or refugee settlements. Five, integrated water resources management including integrated river basin management, water energy food health ecosystems interlinkages, integrated coastal zone management, source to T, integrated hydrology, hydrogeology, hydrooceanography, and hydrometrology, integrated surface and groundwater management, atmospheric water movement, to see global commissions on the economics of water port and other cross-sectoral or cross-cutting approaches. Uli, that's all for today's edition of the 10th World Water Forum segment. I'm Sesco Satrio. Until next time, and now let's go back to the studio with Uli. Thank you, Sesco Satrio. And now Focus Studio will take a quick break, but we'll be right back after these messages. So stay close. <laughs>